True love always requires sacrifice. So, I did not go to sleep for this, but yeah. <laughs> many are choosing to go sleepless in Slovenia to show affection for their home country hero. The land of Luka is seven hours ahead of DFW. Not a dilemma on a typical day. But a 7.30 p.m. final start time in Texas is a 2.30 a.m. Slovenian sacrifice. I think Slovenians will appreciate that there is more time to recover between the finals games, like every two, three days. So. This meme is spot on, but the man who made it says fan fatigue hasn't set in. Half of Slovenians uh, waking up for the Dallas Mavericks game. So much so that for the first time, the NBA broadcast channel in Slovenia just added middle-of-the-night pre-game coverage. You wake up with much more adrenaline if there's a Slovenian player playing that kind of role. And then they're staying up for the game and newly added post-game analysis that comes just post-sunrise. It's gonna be crazy until 6 a.m. All because of a collective love for Luka that's hard to quantify. But I would say it's like the real true Slovenian superstar and not I, I'm not saying only sports. So you think this is the biggest name to ever come out of Slovenia? It's hard to value brands, personal brands, but if you do, I would say by a mile, yeah. Still, cheering on Luca and company in game one was tough. Yeah, it was hard to watch, actually. Was it hard to stay awake? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Yeah, because nothing went in. But love is also patient and it's resilient. You can't just uh, root for somebody when they're up, you know what I mean? If they're down, you still gotta encourage the team. Just hours after the loss of game one and a night of sleep, Luca's hometown was already bustling again, with fans predicting their Luca and his Mavs would bounce back just as quickly, starting with tonight's game. In Ljubljana, Slovenia, I'm Jason Wheeler.